So, uh, the Super Saiyan God Forms. You now, personally, I don't even understand why they're called God Forms. Like, they don't make any of the characters divine by any means. Like, at all. They can't heal, they aren't immortal, etc., etc. I don't get why they're called God Forms. You know what I mean? And for the most part, they're very useless. Like, they don't mean anything. Like, God Key doesn't mean anything in Dragon Ball Super at all. Besides the fact that it's just a lot more harder to use. Like, God Key doesn't make you on a different league as far as, like, power than anyone who doesn't use God Key. We've seen Broly, Jiren, and other characters just even dent this man. Even Golden Frieza, to a lesser extent, and he doesn't have God Key. Like, again, the characters I've mentioned that these characters have gone up against does not have God Key. The only one that does is Goku Black and Tamasu. They are the only two people besides Beerus that they have fought that uses God Key. And it doesn't mean anything. God Key doesn't mean anything. It doesn't make you invulnerable to normal key users. It doesn't give you any special attributes that it wouldn't give anyone else. It literally is just the same superficial power boost. That's literally it. And on top of that, the hair looks the same. Like Super Saiyan God is just literally base form, but red hair and less muscle definition. And I can't be the first one to tell you, but I'm pretty sure fans of Goku don't want to see Goku with less muscle. Trust me, they don't. And then let's just look at Super Saiyan Blue. It is literally just Super Saiyan with blue hair dye. Whether anyone likes to admit it or not, these forms are uncreative as all hell. They're not creative at all. And before anyone says, oh, that's just how the Saiyans get their power. No, it is not. It has never been alluded to that Saiyans power comes from their hair. You know what has been implied? Saiyans power, Saiyans true abilities and powers come from having their tails. We know this because if they lose their tail, if they have their tail pulled on, they become weaker. Literally, it's not that crazy because it's literally in the story. Like, I don't understand why Toriyama has just devolved into hair color changes. Every time, when it comes to new transformations, when it comes to Saiyan transformations or just everyone's transformations, it's always just different hair shapes and different hair colors. Even with Granola, he just gets longer locks. Then he proceeds to cut those locks, even though they look better that way. But it's just weird to me that, like, at the end of the day, like, people put so much stock in the God forms when they don't mean a damn thing. We've even seen... Goku versus Jiren, Goku is literally cycling through every transformation he has. And it don't mean anything. God Key doesn't mean anything. Super Saiyan doesn't mean anything. Because we gotta introduce the next threat. And to make the next threat look cool is by diminishing these transformations to nothing more than just palette swaps. This, oh, different flavor of Goku. Oh, you want spiky haired Goku or spiky er haired Goku? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. You want long spiky hair Goku? There you go. You want blue color haired Goku. You want red color haired Goku. Like, bro, now coming in Hawaiian Punch flavored Super Saiyan. Like, bro, next we have the mystery flavor of Saiyan transformations that isn't Saiyan transformation. Like, bro, it's so damn stupid, bro. I'm so tired of the just the, the meaningless transformations. And then you got people trying to be different so bad saying Super Saiyan 4 is the lamest or the worst transformation. It's, it's literally the best it's transformation. It goes back to Saiyan Roots. It looks cool. Surprisingly, the funny part is you don't have to lose your senses to gain this power. The funny thing is, it's literally the opposite. To gain Super Saiyan 4, because, you know, I've watched the series, you have to become a golden great ape, then master yourself mentally. And then you will immediately change into a Super Saiyan 4. I don't know what else you want from me. Like, it doesn't get more clear cut than that. It literally doesn't. So the fact that people be all coming out of the woodwork saying things like, oh, Super Saiyan 4 is garbage. Or, oh, it's stupid the way to get it. When it's so obvious on how to get it. Literally. Become a great ape. Become a golden great ape. Master your great ape form. Then you become that. Vegeta even has a line in the series where he literally says, you really think I would lose myself to the primal mind and literally comes out of it a Super Saiyan 4. But hey, whatever. People going to cope. People going to say Super Saiyan God is the best transformation of all time. Super Saiyan Blue is the second best of all time. And is he, even though it's literally just a palette swap, it's literally no more than a palette swap. But people eat this shit up. People love their palette swaps. People love their color changes for some reason. 
because hey, you got to keep that money train going. Oh, let's get all the rainbow colored hair Goku's up in a row. Like, bro, there's so many different memes on Goku having different hair color changes and looking like different characters. It's so ridiculous. It's so stupid to me. But for some reason, people will act like these things are the greatest things of all time. Like they're the pinnacle of creativity. They suck and they mean nothing. God key does not do anything. But anyway, that's just my take on this. Let me know yours in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.